Iraq, local forces have largely held the line and in some places have pushed ISIL back. In Syria, ISIL failed in its major push to take the town of Kobani, losing countless fighters in the process, fighters who will never again threaten innocent civilians. And we've seen reports of sinking morale among ISIL fighters as they realize the futility of their cause. I don't believe any of it, especially the last part. Uh, joining us now is Amber Smith, senior fellow at the Independent Women's Forum and a former chopper pilot in the U.S. Army. Amber, welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here, Steve. Well, it's great to talk to you. Um, when the president, you know, makes these statements that uh, morale is low among the ISIS fighters, we beat them here. Meanwhile, the reality is, as we speak, uh, we have um, Marines uh, training uh, Iraqi fighters and at bases, and those bases are being closed in upon by ISIS. Yeah, this isn't ISIS uh, cutting and running because of the work we've done over the past six months uh, with airstrikes. Obama said in his speech earlier this week when he was uh, talking about the AUMF that Al Qaeda was, or that uh, we were on the offensive against ISIS and other terrorist organizations, when actually, no, we're not. We're doing pin prick airstrikes here and there. And the only thing that has significantly changed is the way ISIS is getting their finances from the black market oil industry now until uh, huge donations from different people across uh, the Middle East. Yeah, and, and of course, uh, the, the AU, AUMF uh, that, he, that he requested would tie his hands. I mean, basically it was a, a blueprint for, Al for uh, ISIS saying, hey, we're only going to be there three years, uh, then we might not be able to renew this thing. And by the way, there'll be no ground troops, that's forbidden. But if your leaders get together and we find out, then we might come get you. I mean, what on earth were we listening to there? You are absolutely correct. This is us giving the enemy our timeline, just as we saw in Afghanistan when President Obama gave the withdrawal deadline uh, for troops inside Afghanistan. We're now seeing him do the exact same thing in the war uh, in Iraq and Syria against ISIS, except he's saying no boots on the ground. Uh, this AUMF will only be three years, and this is what we won't do. Instead of saying, hey, this is what we're going to do and clearly define a coherent strategy to defeat the enemy, he's saying this is what we won't do, and basically is going to say all we're going to see is more of the same. We're not going to go on the offensive and go after ISIS and actually destroy them once and for all. All he's content with containing ISIS, and that's not that's not right. how you win wars and defeat an enemy. Right, degrade and eventually destroy, but he doesn't want any part of destroying. I want to play for you a part of a video. You won't be able to see it, but um, uh, he, Obama made a video for BuzzFeed where he took selfies. He looked in the mirror. He goofed around. Here's some of it for the folks to see. All right, and, and there's a lot more there. He's making faces in the mirror, et cetera, et cetera. And apparently, um, according to reports, that th this video was done on February 10th. And Amber, that's the same day that we found out that uh, Caleb um, Mueller was confirmed dead. How unseemly is that? It's, it's just a disappointment. I think President Obama is listening to his communication and, and PR team when it comes to how to reach the younger generation, the social media kids, and how to sort of uh, relate to them. When you, I wish he would listen to uh, his top advisors at the Pentagon and say, hey, this is what we need to do to win a war, instead of seeming to ignore them. But, and and he, no, but and he could have made to, this video the next day, uh, right? He could have waited out of respect. Doesn't doesn't seem like he has a. It doesn't seem like he was too sad. Uh, at least uh, by the BuzzFeed video. All right, Amber. We thank you very much, Amber Smith, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, we look forward to talking to you again. Yeah, uh, and for and for the press. All right. Well, we're having some technical difficulties, United Amber, and we're and we're uh, we're at the end of the segment. But I, I thank you very much. Okay, coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, it's Give Me Five next on the Steve Malsberg Show. Don't go away.